happened to what Brad Garlinghouse did just now is going to cause XRP go through the roof. Keep reading to find out why. It is very important for people who are interested in XRP already have XRP tokens to keep up with the latest news. Find out about the latest XRP news and how it might affect the value of the coin. I'll answer these questions and uh, give you important information that could have a positive effect on XRP prices in today's video. I've done a lot of research for this video. I make sure you watch it all the way through uh, so you don't miss any important information. As you start your day, Crypto Ledger will bring you the most important news in the world of crypto. Make sure you subscribe to get the latest news and predictions about XRP and stay ahead in the crypto world. Don't forget to click like and post notifications to get more crypto news. Um, but now, before we get into our first topic, let's look at the chart and see how XRP did on February 14th. And let's do it in a hurry. All you have to do to enter our daily giveaway for more 50s XRP, ensure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment. XRPI is king. Have fun. Today, the price of XRP is 53 cents and $1, two cents billion dollar worth of it has been traded in 24 hours. One day ago, the price of XRP went up 1.4. Um, in the last week, it went up slightly. Then I'm you, there are 100 billion XRP coins in circulation with 48 billion already in circulation. It's possible that these prices will change by the time you watch this video. Um, also, this is not financial advice and investing in the crypto market is risky. So please do your own research before you do it. Arbit, Stampy, Toro and GateHub are three of the busiest exchange sites for buying and selling XRP. Let's not waste any more time and watch the video now. As the CEO of Ripple confirms, XRP is about to go through the roof after their latest acquisition in the US market. In a tweet that got a lot of attention in the crypto community, um, especially in the SRP community, Ripple, a uh, cryptocurrency company based in San Francisco said it might soon spread its wings to grow its payments network. On February 13, Coindesk, a uh, leading news site for cryptocurrencies, said on X that Ripple, XRP main distributor, uh, is going to buy the standard custody and trust company for the New York based digital asset platform. Coindesk said that Ripple wants to get crypto custodian standard custody along with its New York charter. Analysis is trying to do more than just run a payments network. It is important to note that the above mentioned platform is a digital asset custody provider based in the United States that could be used as a secure way for businesses to store and manage digital assets. And the CEO of Ripple confirms the news. The CEO of Ripple, um, Brad Garlinghouse, went on X to confirm the report. It's important to note that the CEO's response came a few minutes uh, after the first tweet. In his answer, Garlinghouse only talked about what Ripple wants to do with its new partnership. And he said with standard custody, uh, we'll be able to fully comply with all new products and use cases as well as improve the products we already offer our customers. Best in the studio, um, company's CEO also talked about what it had done in the past, such as just getting about 40 licenses to send money in the US, a license from the Monetary Authority of Singapore for MESS, and a license from the Central Bank of Ireland for VASP a virtual asset service provider. People in the XRP community are looking forward to seeing how this possible acquisition could help the struggling digital currency break out of its cursed shell of inactivity. And all the necessary people agree with Ripple. Uh, Ripple's uh, new purchase hasn't been approved yet by the New York Department of Financial Services. So it could lose its latest partnership, which is very likely to happen since the crypto outlet in San Francisco is currently in court with the US securities watchdog to give you some background, Ripple is currently working with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. That's in court as of the 2020. And the SEC is the cryptocurrency platform for selling XRP as a security. After an extended court battle that lasted more than three years, Ripple appeared to be getting closer to winning the case, as most of the important decisions seem to be in its favor. Now you can help the channel by giving this video a like, um, subscribe, and then share it with your friends. Don't forget to tune in so you don't miss anything. The NSRP lawsuit um, between Ripple Labs and the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. Let's not waste any more time and watch the rest of the video. Let's say rumors about a possible settlement have been met with skepticism and outright rejection by a number of legal experts who are closely following the case. Uh, court recently ordered Ripple to give full financial records for its institutional sales of XRP in 2022 and 2023. Now, this new development comes after that decision that has unintentionally led to more talk of a settlement being closed. The recent court order uh, from Judge Sarah Netburn has pushed back the legal proceedings by eight days. 
This gives Ripple an extension until February 20th to meet the financial disclosure requirements. Lots of people have been speculating about a possible settlement since this uh, extension was made, but because April 24th is the last day for rebuttals and the start of the remedy stage, commences and the clear ending to this story uh, is still a long way off, which makes the next few months uncertain. Part of what Ripple CC settlement doesn't make sense. Legal experts in the XRP community have spoken out against the settlement rumors. By Bill Morgan, a seasoned lawyer, um, stressed that settlement talks are private. He said that some people might not know that settlement talks are private and protected by a form of privilege. And so there is no sign of a settlement until it happens all of a sudden. Um, agreement with Morgan, another legal expert, Jesse Hines, said the rumors were completely false. Any rumors about a settlement between Ripple and the SEC are false until and unless there is one. When this doesn't get out and when settlement talks do get out, it's usually as a way to gain power. Do not believe the nonsense. I even said, and an old securities lawyer named Mark Fajal added a bit of sarcasm to the conversation by making fun of the idea of leaks uh, in such important legal cases. And yes, when I was a lawyer, but said, and we always made sure to call some random anonymous Twitter account before starting to talk about a settlement. Uh, Fajal said, uh, it just seemed like common courtesy, emphasizing how unlikely it was that private information would get out. Morgan also said that in 26 years of talks about uh, settlement, in the several hundred mediations I've been a part of, either as a lawyer or as a mediator, no one from either side has ever leaked information or broken the without prejudice privilege that applies to the mediation or settlement talks. As since the lawsuit began in December 2020, Ripple, has had a lot of legal problems because the SEC is looking closely at its sales of XRP to institutions. Even though the legal issues are causing trouble and have had a negative effect on the XRP market, I can call Ripple as one important cases. Um, some of these are the court's decision that XRP is not a security and the sex decision uh, to drop its case against Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson, two executives at Ripple. That's the price of XRPs and waiting for a decision. The crypto community is still on edge as the case moves into the remedies phase and important deadlines approach. Um, the results of this court case could have big effects on Ripple, which added up his sales and the price of digital assets. Um, we'd like to make it clear that this is not the channel that was meant for that purpose. We are not giving you financial advice and we are not asking you to, to invest in any company. And this is just a way for us to bring you and educational content. Watch out for scammers. We will never ask you for money on WhatsApp or any other app. What you see, read, or click on that says it's our channel is not real. Please let YouTube know about all scammers and fakes. Crypto Ledger is the best place to get crypto news. See you next time. Bye.